Hi friends, this is Paul and tonight I'm going to be talking about the Wallywood sketchbook edited by David Spurlock. I also did a review on the John Buscema sketchbook edited by David Spurlock earlier. I'm putting a link to that video um, in the description of this video. What's interesting is that Buscema and Wally Wood were both born in 1927. John Buscema lived till 2002 and lived a good long life. And Wally Wood died in 1981. Um, this video is not about the tragic life of Wally Wood in many ways, but a celebration of his sketchbook. And I ordered this book because I was so impressed with the John Buscema sketchbook edited by Spurlock that I wanted to have some uh, pencil drawings by Wally Wood. And this is Wally Wood with Joe Orlando, they did a lot of collaboration together, and that's Wally Wood's um, drawing of the two of them working late at night together. This book is good. I give it a thumbs up. Mostly what I'm in it for are the graphic drawings, the gesture drawings in particular of these great artists. I mean, look at this graphite drawing right here for the cover of uh, Thunder Agent Dynamo. That is probably one of the most ornately shaded um, in the entire book. Just real, look at the locomotive. Absolutely wonderful, really great action. So I'm just gonna kind of page through some of my favorite sections here in the book. Again, really nice gesture, rough sketches in graphite. Um, another one from Dynamo there. Um, probably one difference of this book from the Buscema one is there is a lot more fit, what I would call finished artwork or inked artwork in this book. Um, the Buscema, here's a really great page of those action, uh, drawings, those rough, uh, figures, um, fleshed out there. I really love that stuff. Don't you just to see how the masters, uh, work the form with maximum impact with the uh, anatomy and and the motion, you know, really, really stands out. Again, there, there are more finished kind of drawings in this book, but still some really nice ample um, char charcoal or graphite rough sketches, enough to make the book worthwhile. And much of Wood's fantastical, weird science um, era work as well, where he did a lot of sci-fi work uh, that he was notorious for. And this guy, he could also illustrate in just about any style. <laughs> these, these two are great right here <laughs> on the scale. Um, a lot of caricatures, really neat, quick studies that he did with different animals and stuff. You know, Wood was also, like Buscema, Wood was great drawing women. He could also draw in any style. He was a big fan of um, Hal Foster, Prince Valiant fame, and he drew a lot of caricatures of, in that genre, um, more really weird creatures here in this book as well. Some nice women there. That's an outline from Canon, um, his serial um, Canon, which was issued to GIs overseas, probably one of his most uh, famous series. Some nice facial um, portraits there with uh, looks like a little graphite or ink wash. And some interesting uh, mock-ups here for the Daredevil series. Um, seems meant to show the publisher 
about the direction of many of these characters with grid lines and different uh, front and side views as well here with any clothing or gear accoutrements and the daredevil uh, hero right here um, done as a um, original sketch for uh, pitching to the publishers more graphite here so yeah you know definitely getting the graphite works here showing the movement of character and um, so I give this a thumbs up you know I definitely if you're a Wally Wood fan and you enjoy seeing the raw talent of these artists um, come to life and just you know just feel their thought process as they're working through um, the action the composition of a building without the uh, full-on finished treatment like like this is some more finished work i just and there's a good running um interviews as 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 usual what spurlock does with his interviews and bio kind of history and you can get a lot about the um, character of wally wood um, according to people who worked with him and kind of his temperament and um, that's a whole nother story right there but you can certainly read about that in this book it's very well done Again, this video, I am just showing, casing the, um, really the graphite work in this book um, because that is my main interest and certainly his life was very interesting and unfortunately um, ended quite tragically. But please post your comments below. Are you a fan of Wally Wood? I sure am. And thanks a lot for stopping by, you guys, and have a great day.